Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. Oh, come on, somebody, give him praise, give him praise, give him honor, give him glory, give him everything. So I told you guys that I was going to tell you what happened in here. Um, well, you could say this morning, basically. Hold on, I'm trying to fix this thing, you guys, because... I have so much going on here. I have some books everywhere. I ain't lying. Uh, uh, <laughs> books everywhere. So I can't even get stuff going how I want it to. All right. Make sure you can hear me. Say um, clear check. Look, I didn't say clear check. I, I'm telling you, I'm, I've, I've been on one ever since this morning when it happened. It happened around 2-ish because I went to bed around 2-ish. Woke up around 5-ish. Okay, so praise God. Hallelujah. All right. Can y'all hear me? I, I need y'all to let me know y'all can hear me. Because y'all already know that devil don't like me and I don't like him. Ugh. Right, thank you. I don't know how to say your name, honey. Capricia Hill. Praise God. Thank you, Prophetess Chainer. All right, so let me tell you what happened last night. Now, I've had four miracles. The first miracle is when I was 27 years old. Um, it's, my, it's part of my testimony when I was staying with this older gentleman. And just to be real, I was staying to have a place to stay. Um, Y'all know who was having sex, fornicating. And that's when I almost blew my head out. And that's when I heard the, the Spirit of God, the voice of God. And I gave my life to Jesus. Well, I would say about a month after that, he kept trying to get me to have sex. And he kept putting me down, talking about, oh, God ain't chose you. You ain't this, you ain't that. And then one day... You know, I came back from church and he had pornos on and I got in the car and I was like, you know what? I started screaming at God. I ain't gonna lie. I said, you told me if I changed my life that you would, you would help me and you would do. And I'm telling you the glory of God. I didn't know what the glory was. The glory of God fell upon me. I'm not kidding. I went to this big old church with this Caucasian guy. All, all I remember is what I did. I don't even remember the God name to this day. And I told him, I said, God said, help me. That man just asked me my name and wrote me a $5,000 check. Y'all won't hear me. Hold on. Then second, I had a friend named Bobby. God told me to call Bobby. Bobby met me at um, Bank of America. Gave me another couple of thousand for furniture. Um, then I called AT&T. I got my phone on. Long story short, by 8.30 that night, I had a whole apartment and everything. Now, here, hold on. I'm still under the glory of God. I don't even know what I'm doing. It's like the Spirit of God on me. At 8.30, I'm sitting in my apartment, my new apartment. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. In one day, God did it with no money. Y'all not listen to me. Miracle, number one. I'm not kidding. I, the glory of God lifted up of me because I jumped up and I looked around and I said, where am I? And God said, I did it for you. <laughs> I started crying, hollering in that place, looking around. So nobody can't tell me what God won't do. Nobody can't tell me because I've experienced it for myself. And one day, what do you do? That was the first miracle. The second miracle, almost the same identical miracle, was in Sacramento, 2002. God had moved down. God told me to move down. I didn't have no family. No, I mean, it was just... It was hard. I was catching the bus. I was. I had this little pizza job. I mean, it was hard. And they kept clowning me, talking about, she says she a prophetess, but she ain't got nothing. And I didn't have nothing. Honey, I went to the hotel room. God had told me to go get a hotel room. I got on my knees in the hotel room, and I said, God, you did it once. Do it again. And I promise you, that was that Thursday. By that Sunday, God had put it on a, heart, on a couple's heart. I'm not going to say their name. In Sacramento, California, that went to Calvary Christian Center. And they blessed me with a Mercedes Benz, a condo, and a job. Plus, I, was, um, I just got a job at Walmart as an accountant. Miracle number two. Um, miracle number three. What was miracle number three, Lord? Help me out, help me out, help me out. Okay, miracle number three. I had got a substantial large amount of money. Thousand, over over 300 some thousand. We're going we're gonna to just leave that long, how it happened. Miracle number three. This was number, miracle number four. This was small, but it still made my hair stand up. What, it, what little hair I got, right? Praise God, but it's growing. So last so this morning I'm up in here and um, honestly I was just gonna just put on I have pure flex so I was gonna just put on a movie but in my computer and I'm actually filming on top of my computer you have to sign in the person that programmed my computer you have to sign in you guys I didn't sign in so I was gonna look at another movie honey let me tell y'all what happened I opened up the computer movie came on and the way it came on I got scared I ain't gonna lie to you. I was like. And I heard God say, I did this because I want you to look at the final rapture. So I never heard of the movie or nothing. So right now, God is speaking to me, and yes, audibly. And the computer coming on, and the movie right there. And I'm like, I just stare for about a moment. I say, okay. 
Because, you know, when God do it, you can say what you want. It, it, it startles you. And yeah, I kind of looked. I was like, okay. I, and so I looked at the whole movie. You guys, I'm going to tell you what thus said the Lord. And I don't care who don't believe. Because one thing I've learned about the Spirit of God, you know when God's speaking. God said, Deanna, tell him it's almost here. You guys, I don't know when the rapture is almost here for real. Now hold on. Destruction is coming before the rapture. God said, tell them to stop acting worldly, stop being worldly, to get close to me. Y'all, let me tell y'all something. Hallelujah. And I pray that you listen to me. And I pray that you tag and share this. Please, please listen to me. God is the God of love. But God is also a God of wrath. Remember, remember Noah. Remember Sodom and Gomorrah. Y'all sitting up there thinking, oh, and, and, and so many preachers, preachers lying to y'all. Oh, God, God is a God of love. Yes, he is, but he's a God of wrath. He's a God of wrath. Look at that Bible. Read that Bible. God killed his own prophets. Not because he didn't love you, but because we didn't obey him. I say we because it's always been the children of Israel. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. I'm telling y'all, we got to do better. We got to do better. Repent, God says. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent. Repent. Because truth be, be told, most Christians are worldly. Yes, they are. Let me tell you how you're worldly. Want money all the time. Don't care how you got it and talk about it. it's a blessing from God. Knowing you, you didn't did something you had no business. Or you didn't got with somebody that's crooked. Soul ties. And I was supposed to talk about that yesterday, right? But I'm going to talk about that next Saturday. Soul ties is not just having sex. Soul ties is also covenant. Any time, okay, that's the best way I could describe it. Let's say somebody stole some money and they come and they and they try to sew it into me. And I know it's stolen. That's a soul tie and that's a covenant. And to be honest with you, it's funny money. And if I accept that, I promise you, I'm gonna be have repercussions. Case in point, something happened to me one day. I don't mind. I I, I use my life as a testimony because it's all real, authentic. Uh, one day when I was in the process of becoming the prophetess Deanna Dixon. I thought I was all that. That's why I know how some of y'all be rolling. And so um, I had a birthday party that day. I'll never forget. I was at the Olive Garden. And there was a warlock. It was a warlock. And I know that was a warlock. And he was rich. And his girlfriend was my friend. And i never forget what happened that day, y'all. That same Mercedes I told y'all I just had. Let me tell y'all what happened to that Mercedes. Because of my greediness. You see, I don't mind putting myself out there. Because some of you won't tell the truth. I used to be greedy. I know what I'm talking about. That's why I could spot that spirit. So anyway, um, they had sold into me. And I'll never forget, after my party that night, I had stopped to get some gas. And God said, you, you know that money they sold? Give it to that. It was a, a beggar passing by, a homeless man. And I ain't going to lie to you. I said, I'm not giving him that money. I'm putting it in my car. Y'all, I promise you, I wish I'd have never did that. The next day, I'm on the highway. My car blew up. I'm sitting. It, it, nothing was wrong with my car. My car blew up. And all I could do was play back. What happened the night before? God said, I told you, but the, uh, all money ain't good money. Y'all don't even hear. I knew it was coming from that warlock. But because I wanted it, y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Some of y'all doing the same thing and wondering why this happening in your life. This happening in your children's life. This happening in your husband's life. This because y'all y'all doing some funny bunny stuff. Come on, let's just be real. And, and I'm not talking about just with money. Y'all are connected with people that you know ain't right. And I'm not saying nobody's perfect because none of us, we all fall short of the glory of God. We sin in our, in, in our thought life, in, in our words sometimes, in our deeds. Come on, somebody, because in front of people, hallelujah, but behind closed doors, y'all know we get a little <laughs> cray cray. Let's be real. Ain't nobody want to talk about that. Ain't everybody holy all the time. That's a lie. That's a lie. Come on, somebody, hallelujah, through the righteousness of God. Yes, but let's be real. Behind closed doors, <laughs> some of y'all will cut somebody out. Let's be real. Hallelujah. I done did it before, too. Mm. I repent, God. Please keep me, God. I'm telling you, when that door closed, what am I saying? When Jesus busts that sky, and he will. But first, the rapture. Right? How you gonna feel if you get left? Because in the movie last night, what I noticed is some people were saying, it was a pastor in there. And uh, again, in case you want to look at the movie, it's called The Final Rapture. I had never seen it before, which was odd because I, 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 I thought I knew every movie. It was a pastor, and he had got left. And, and uh, the girl went to him and said, well, wait a minute, how come you didn't get taken? He said, because I preached it, but I didn't really believe it. Ooh, y'all don't hear what I said. He said, I preached it, but I didn't really believe it. I was like, oh, wow. You know, that's a lot of some people. They preaching it, but they don't live it. Oh, come on, somebody. I used to be like that. I, I'm very transparent on, on purpose, you guys. 
for the first 10 years, I've been in ministry 22 going on 23 years. The first 10 to 11 years, I played. I fornicated. I did a lot of stuff. And God would always let me be found. I was so mad at God. I said, well, how come everybody else could do it, but I can't do this? Because you ain't going to be like them. I stopped playing with God because every time I tried to do something, it came out anyway. So I was like, oh. So I just stopped. I said, okay, God, get this out of me and, and let me be real. And that's how you got to do it. Because some of y'all trying to hook. Jive, high. Can I tell you something? I never knew how the old people knew too because I thought I was slick. I would go to the next town or I'd be by myself and do my little dirt. Y'all know how we do it, right? Old school stuff. Some old women I walk in church talking about. Hmm. And I used to say, and I would get so mad because I knew that they knew that I knew that they knew. And that's why some of y'all don't like me. I, 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 some of y'all don't even want to come around me. Y'all know I see it. But that, that's not my business to judge. Now, if God tell me, I got to tell y'all what happened to me. I went in Michigan to preach. I ain't going to say the church name. And it was for a conference. And that's when I knew how the Spirit of God really, really worked. This was like in 2012, 13. No, no. This was in 14. No, no. Yeah. This was in 14. This was in 14 or 15. So long story short, the theme was supposed to be about alcohol, drugs. And y'all know that's that's part of my testimony too. But God had gave me, he said, you're going you gonna to rebuke them. And I was like, God, what you talking about? Because I was like, God, now come on out. Because that's my first time doing it. I was like, God, I know you ain't sending me all the way to Detroit to rebuke these people. And that's just what he did. And let me tell you how he started off. She had picked me up. Very nice person. Won't speak to me today. We still Facebook friends, but she won't speak to me. Let me tell you what happened. We getting a Subway sandwich. And, and God started. He said, now your assignment begins. Y'all y'all by yourself. So I said, okay. He said, ask her. Who is that man she's sleeping with that's not her husband? Y'all, I, I, I promise you, I want to just fall down and just like, I know God ain't finna. He said, you heard what I said. And I had to ask that woman that. Her eyes got big, big, big. And she said, she said, prophetess, I'm not going to lie to you. She said, yes, I am. I said, you know, you wrong. And so, right then and there, it was tension. And I was there for three days. I was like, I mean, I was on the spot for three days. And that last day, I had to rebuke all the leaders. Now, her husband. After I finished preaching, her husband came and said, Woman of God, we receive everything because you're telling the truth. It wasn't that, you see, I think people don't understand my mandate. It's not that I'm perfect. It's not that I think I'm all that. It's not that I'm trying to judge you. I have the apostolic anointing. What does that mean? Correction. Rebuke. And if you're wrong, God going to let me know. And, and hey, guess what? It ain't my fault that God know you'll be, because mm, you shouldn't be doing it, right? But that's when I knew. This stuff real. God will tell your business. You won't get away with nothing. Now, now you think you get away. And, and God will set you up at the right moment when you least. She did not expect that. I didn't even expect that truth to be told. I was like, this God didn't put me. I'm talking about because the last day, they wouldn't even speak to me. I mean, it was crazy. I was like, I mean, I was ostracized. And it was okay because I had already did what I was supposed to do. Because it was, it's, it'd be about my assignment. That's not the first time. Y'all remember um last year. When that pastor got exposed, I forgot his name, in um, Tallahassee, Florida. Y'all know, y'all know the story if you don't Google it. I, let me tell you what happened. I went and preached there at another church. But before I left that, God said, I need you to go to that church and rebuke him. You know, I warned that pastor about what happened. Um, that was two years ago. It just happened last year. I said, God said, stop doing what you're doing. And while I was speaking to him, he was already holding another woman's hand that wasn't his wife. And I remember he got he got caught in the bed with somebody. I'm not gossiping. I'm trying to tell y'all something. I'm I hope you're listening because some, some of y'all so narrow-minded and so worldly. Oh, she gossiping. No, no, no. I'm trying to get you to see how God operates. I'm talking about when I walked in that church. All his members, I, I had to wear my robe. All his members kept looking at me like, you better not say nothing. I could hear people's thoughts. And I was sitting up there so I wouldn't look at nobody in the eye because I knew I had to do this. And my armor bearer with me, she was all scared. I said, don't look at nobody in the eye until we get over it. So, you know, because I want to stay focused on what I got to do. You ain't finna scare me. Oh, come on, somebody. Because that's why half of y'all don't want to do y'all assignment. Because y'all let people. You remember Jeremiah? God said, don't be afraid of their faces. That's why I ain't scared of y'all. Because guess what? When the Spirit of God get on me, I ain't scared of you. Because you can't do me nothing. But I know he can Oh, he can send me to hell. Hallelujah. So I sure ain't going to let you, boo-boo, and everybody else in your little clique tell me not to do what God say. The devil is a lie. Hallelujah. I warned that man. And when it happened yesterday, I mean, last year, I cried. I, I was so sad because I don't be trying to like, oh, that's good. That's good because I told him my heart hurts because <laughs> I'm just going to keep it real. They don't be believing me. They don't be believing me. 
Shoot, y'all know how many people came at me when Trump got in office, and I still stick by what I say. Yes, that man coming back in office, and, and <laughs> well, but I don't even know if I'm gonna be here when it happened. You know, for I'll, I'll be here when it happened, but I'm just saying, you know, because I see other things, right? But if y'all only knew how prophecy works, it may not happen at that time, and sometimes we think it does. But I'm 49. Everything God have ever told me came true, even in my life, and I'm not lying. And I wish to God some of the stuff wouldn't have came true. Woo! But yet I'll be that false prophet. You 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 want to say? Yeah, I'll be that. I'll be this because I know one thing. He don't lie. Now, sometimes I think we go before him. And we probably speak a little bit, you know, and I've learned and still learning as an apostolic leader. Hold on now. You might have to wait for that prophecy. You might have to wait. I, I'm hey, I'm not going to ever say I got it together. The devil is a lie because as long as I'm on this earth, I'm processing, I'm processing, I'm processing. But I know what I hear. And that man ain't never lied to me. God ain't never lied. And he'll never lie to you. But I will say this. Please, 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 if you playing, please stop. God told me to tell y'all, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. It's coming, you guys. I don't know when, but I know it's coming. I can feel it. And it's like, you know, even I'm getting more serious. I'm like, Lord, even little, little stuff. I don't want to do that. You know, like, even, you know, I, I, I'm a, can I be transparent? Sometimes me and my dad don't get along. I, don't, I told him I don't want to argue with you because I'm not missing hell for nobody. Y'all ain't ready for me. I ain't missing, I, ain't, I mean, heaven. See how that devil trying to make me say that? The devil is a lie. I'm not missing heaven for nobody. Please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. I don't want to argue with y'all. No, 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 no. You win. You win. You win. Because I want to get in. Y'all hear what I'm saying tonight. Don't let nobody make you miss heaven. And I'm being real with y'all. I'm telling you, when God did this to this, this computer, I'm telling you, I wish y'all could see it. You can't get in unless you sign in. And the way that that movie just came on, that was supernatural. That wasn't no Deanna, because you have to get in, sign in, and then pick a movie. I didn't even know about the movie. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. I'm just being transparent and real. So, you know, he kind of blew my mind because I was like, he's serious. And he's serious. And I keep hearing him say, they traded, I, I, I put, I said this about two, three years ago. I keep hearing him saying, they traded their flame for fame. Y'all think I be lying when I when I talk about these gospel artists and stuff. Let me tell you something. Jesus, yes, he hung out with the sinners, but he never became a sinner. Now, listen to what I'm saying. He never did what they did. As a matter of fact, all he did was love them back to life and tell them, hey, you got to change your ways. They're not doing that. They're getting with these people, and these people are tainting them. Because you can't miss holy with unholy. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You can't mix it. You can't mix world with God. You just can't do it. And it's not judging. I'm just being real with you. I see. Let me tell you what God told me. If y'all knew how many plants they sent at me, what is a plant? If y'all knew how many men and came. If y'all knew how many women and came. And I knew they were a plant. I'm not lying. Even into my home in Atlanta. And God said, watch them. That's not for me. They were there to taint me. One of them, uh, we became good friends. And I don't mind telling you, he was a guy. And one day, he just launched at me and kissed me on the neck. And I, I'm going to beat him. Yes, I did. I clicked. I was like, don't you ever touch me. Hallelujah. I mean, I started tripping. But his assignment was to sleep with me. Come on. Y'all ain't ready for me being real, huh? His assignment was to sleep with me. And he was fine, by the way. And I was lonely. Hallelujah. I didn't do it. I did a Joseph. I said, you got to get about here. Don't never, 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 never. I did a fry. I fried it. I smoked it. Don't never, 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 never come back here. Because, I, no, I can't afford it. I can't afford it. Oh, come on, somebody. I can't afford it. And the flesh is weak. The flesh is weak. Because truth be told, we get lonely. Truth be told, we want somebody. Truth be told, ah. Uh, but I'm not. Hallelujah. And how do you do that? Because you got to stay rooted to God. God, keep me. God, don't let me sin. God, please. Hallelujah. And some of you will put yourselves in compromising positions. And then you wonder why you're in it. And then when you're in it, you're like, and now God got to get you out of it. Come on, somebody. Can I be real? Because I'm going to tell you what's happening. Ain't nobody being real. They're too busy being holy. Yeah, we're holy. But we're human. Hallelujah. <laughs> Let's tell the truth up in here. All right, then. I didn't say everything that God told me to say.
so i love you guys and i'm just being real but as long as we on this earth he gonna tempt you because he's trying to attain you and he's gonna try to taint you because he's trying to render you powerless you see let me tell you something if you ain't got no real anointing then you can't do nothing you can't break no yokes. You can't cast out no demons. You can't do nothing. And that's where he at. And y'all think I'm lying. That's why. I, that, I'm just going to say it. That's why Nicki Minaj got with Tasha. And I already know what she told her. I'm in the spirit. You are the only one that were able to touch my spirit. Like none of these others. Come on somebody. But that's how they will you in. Get you to think you're the top gun. The top. Pride. Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for the truth. Didn't he do that to Jesus? If you fall down and worship me, I give you everything. Now she on Good Morning America. And, and, and I, I'm sorry. Even when I went to the Dove Awards. And y'all don't get mad. I really care. You, you come for me. You come for me. I'm going to come for you back. Hallelujah. I know I'm. Yeah. Showing breasts. I'm sorry, y'all. As women of God, I don't care. Because I hear y'all say, well, you got to meet people where they at. That's true. But the Holy Spirit will convict you and say, cover up, baby. Come on, somebody. Don't play with me. Don't play. He ain't going to say expose. Tamla man did it, did too. No, 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 no. That's because, guess what? My conviction is getting less and less because I'm spending more with the world. Don't tell me. And I think a lot of y'all forgot one thing. Y'all forgot I was in Hollywood. Y'all forgot I, I, I worked for Stevie Wonder. I catered to him. Y'all forgot that. Y'all wondering how I know stuff. Can I tell y'all something? I almost did it. I promise you. I'm not going to say the story that they tried to use. Me and her was very good friends. And one day she scared me. She asked me to do something. And I said no. I'm not doing that because I know that was that was serving the devil. And I had to like a little kid. I said I don't want to be your friend no more. And I ran out of her house. I sure did. Cause, and, and, and I know that they was using her to lure me in. And I almost did it. Because I promise you. They was letting me in places. I was getting blessed. It didn't even... Stuff was happening that didn't make no sense. I was getting money. I didn't even know I was getting money. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It was just, it was just too good to be true. And I never forget when I really say, God, I don't want this, but God gets me that dream. He said, Deanna, what you want? You want this or you want that? I never forget that dream. I said, God, I don't. He said, everything that you got, and you know what you did, cause some stuff I did do. You gotta lose it all. So don't tell me. Y'all can't tell me. It's so easy. Because I promise you, when God, I thought it was God that blessed me with that position and, and with them with them people. I'm going to be honest with you, man, it was nothing but the devil. When I, when I really opened my eyes, I had loved God. Honestly, I started fornicating again. Honestly, I started drinking. Man, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. Something happened. And that's how I know that's the spirit of attention. It's a spirit of wanting to be with them. It's a, it's a spirit. It's a spirit in LA. So it's just a spirit when you start getting around them people. I'm not lying. And if you're not strong, ooh, you're going to get taken under. Don't tell me. I know what I'm talking about. And it took a year for me to come from under that. Even after God say, okay, now let me clench you. Let me purify you. Let me consecrate you. I had to be real. And I had to renounce what I had did. Come on, somebody. Let's be real. Because a lot of leaders don't want to be real. You got leaders right now. Don't make me start naming names because y'all really going to get mad. That's homosexual. That's having sex with other leaders. Hold on. Hold on. That know of other leaders having sex. Hold on. The homosexuality is so... The wives know. But because they don't want to embarrass their husband. And they don't want to lose their comfortable living. They ain't saying nothing. Y'all don't hear me. Famous prophets. Bisexual. Y'all. They so nasty, y'all. They so nasty. You know, I, I'm not going to go that far. And how I know? Hmm. Like I say, I did some things. Don't tell me. I know what I'm talking about. I, and that's why I'm I'm a danger to them. That's why they don't like me. They know I know. They know I know. I, 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 I guess you could almost say like Cat Williams. You know how you see things and you're supposed to say nothing? I haven't named names. Not yet. But if God ever released me, they're going to get mad if they won't. I know what I saw. <sighs> it's real. You do have to sell your soul. And you will compromise. Why you think? It's another thing. Y'all don't even believe me. You can't get to a certain level without their approval. Y'all think it's a game. Yes, God is God. But the God of this world, you got to bow down to him in order to get to a certain level. And y'all think it's a game. That's why I turned my back and I thank you, Jesus. I, I And I used to want it all. I used to want to be rich. And, and y'all know. 
I don't care about that no more. I just want to be saved. Hallelujah. God, just don't let me die. God, just don't let me go to hell. That's what I'm talking about. Some of y'all, y'all will sell y'all soul just to have a car. Y'all will sell your soul just to have money. Y'all will sell your soul just to be on TV. Y'all will sell your soul for a million followers. Y'all will sell your soul. And it ain't even worth it. Because I promise you, at night, there's no peace. I remember. Even though I was with them, I had no peace. I would wake up, I couldn't sleep, and that's why they do drugs and I call because you don't want to think about what you're doing. Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for me. I'm telling you, that's how I know. That's how I can speak on it. Now y'all understand that, and, and half of y'all still ain't gonna understand what I'm saying. I've been there. I know how they operate. Then, hold on. Well, I'm drinking the uh, energy drink. Don't say nothing. I know I ain't supposed to have it. They'll offer you a bottle of water or something that's not open. Y'all don't understand they manufacture everything. It could be a chip in there. It could be something to put you to sleep. That's why I believe, and I'm going to go, Paula White ain't Paula White. Hell ain't ready for me. Look at pictures a long time ago and look at who she is now. Y'all don't want to talk about clones. A lot of them are not looking like they, don't even act like they used to act. Oh uh, man, y'all ain't ready for me. But they thought these people just wanted to be with them. No, these people set you up. They set you up. They didn't put you to sleep and put something in you. And them chips are real. Them chips will make you just like people, you know, how people have been killing people. And I'm not kidding. They put that chip in you, you will do what them people tell you to do. Because it's chipped. Now, there are so many movies. There, it's called Divergent. Divergent. D-I-V-E-R-G-N-T. Look it up. You'll see exactly what I'm saying. How them chips will make you. I truly believe if, if there was real Christians, though, that it didn't, it couldn't happen to you know what I'm saying? With some of them that they what they would call them, I think they would call a divergence, because they they couldn't really get overtaken. But if your spirit is not of God, you can get overtaken. That chip is real. It, it's just like you being a computer. It'll make you kill, steal, shoot yourself. Which I rebuke in the name of Jesus. Y'all understand what it is, huh? <laughs> they got to kill me for real, cause I'm not doing that. Not willingly. The devil is alive. So. I think I got everything out that God told me to say. A little bit more, right? Woo! All right. God bless y'all. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I, I just tell the truth because that's all we got love. <laughs> y'all sit up there playing. It's the end, man, for real. And I know it's scary. All I can tell you is get close to God. Get in your Bible while you can because they, that's the first thing they're going to do is take them Bibles. That's the first thing. They're going to try to remove the word of God. That's why I, I mean it every night, every night. At least I try to be because I want it so in me that when they take it or whatever, you can't take it out my heart. You can't take it out my heart. You'll never erase Jesus. Because we going, y'all, all we did was go back in time. Don't y'all know they still hate Jesus? That's what this is all about? Come on, somebody. And I'm telling you, it's going to come a point where you better not say his name. It's going to come a point where you would die in his name. Oh, hallelujah to his name. And I, I do it in a heartbeat. So praise God. I love you guys. Take care. And I pray in the name of Jesus. Please tag this and share it. Because I ain't going to lie to you. Facebook been messing with my numbers. Um, come on, y'all. They've been messing with my numbers for a long, for about a year now. That's why I don't even trip no more. I'm like, well, God, who needs to hear it, going to hear it. Because after what he did last night, and I know I love it when God do miracles. Because I know that he's still all powerful which of course I know that but when he did that I'm, I just know it don't even matter who needs to see it gonna see it what needs to happen gonna happen so that's why I'm telling y'all that not to glorify like oh I'm so special because God will bless it and show anybody if you just believe so I have that radical faith I have to he didn't been so good to me when you have that radical faith you'll hear the voice of God you have that radical faith God will show you miracles you have that radical faith you, you'll see angels I see angels I see angels. Oh, I'm supposed to tell about the time I went to heaven. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So, I never been to hell, but I did go to heaven. One time, um, this was in, I was 28, I'm 49. So, I was in Manny, Louisiana. And what happened is, um, I was in the, in the laundromat. I was in living in some apartments. I was in the laundromat, so I wasn't sleeping. And I looked up in the sky, and I knew it was Jesus. But the thing is, though, his face was just like the sun. So then it happened. It's like my body was transformed and I was in heaven. And every time I'm, I love it when I'm in heaven, y'all, because here's the deal. My hair is like long to my butt. I ain't lying. I said, I said, oh, come on now. But anyway, 
uh, uh, you always have white on. So white is God's color. It's like a white robe. And I was in this field. The lilies was but like this high. I was in the fields. And he said, I want to take you somewhere. So they took me in a room in heaven. And it was nothing but gold. Gold everywhere. It was nothing but gold. And Jesus was just standing there. And I would run. And I would grab the gold. And it was so pretty gold. It's not like the gold here on earth. And I would say, for me. And he would do like this. And then I would run to another section. I say, for me. And he would. And then I run to another section. That was it. And so after it was over with, I said, God, why did you? He said, because I want you to know that I have the power of blessings. That I will bless you. Because some of y'all will do anything for blessings. But not only that, he wanted me to know that heaven was real. You guys, I don't know what level I was on because there are levels in heaven. But I do know I didn't want to come back. But I know I had to, right? So I was just in a room. I didn't go all over. So I, I'm sticking to what just happened. I ain't finna lie on nothing. But after that, I know heaven's real. I know heaven's real. I mean, it was so much gold. I don't know what that room called. The gold room, I guess. I mean, it was. And it wasn't about the idea about the gold. It was to let us know heaven is real. It was let, me, let us know. Because a true child of God, you're not going to always have a million dollars. You may not never have a million dollars. Be real. Even though we claim it, name it, whatever. But God told me he'll always provide for you. He'll always bless you. And it ain't always about money. Mm, Y'all ain't ready for me tonight. So that's the whole prophecy was what God wanted me to tell y'all. Heaven is real. Heaven is real. And I ain't never been to hell. And her stories though. I ain't never, and I ain't trying to go tell you the truth. All right, you guys. I want to make sure I got it all out. All right, God bless you. You're right. You're right. I like that, Carla. We can't even share some things because there are some things that I can't tell you right. Because there were things that God told me. I'm scared. I ain't telling nobody. He said, don't tell nobody. I ain't telling nobody. I even know my new name. How you like that? And it's a pretty name, too. It's so pretty. It's so pretty, Indiana. Oh, I wish I could tell you, but I'm too scared. I ain't doing that. I mean, you're right. There are things that God has shown me that I could never tell nobody. That's how I know it's real. I mean, I, I will say this, too. People say that you can't see God and live. I'm not even going to go there because I don't feel like I should. That's not true. That's all I'm going to say to y'all. That's not true. That's not true. And I have witnesses because somebody else was in the same room and saw the same thing. That's not true. God will show you things that will blow your mind. And y'all wonder why I'm so... Psh. God didn't show me. Mm -mm. I can't believe nothing else. All right, you guys. God bless you. I love you guys through Christ. A real life soldiers for that is who you are. Uh, let's get it.